Welcome Aerosofters, Norseman here, and this is the world of Aerosoft. Now today, thanks to a unfortunate circumstance, we have a wonderful opportunity to explain and to demonstrate the operations of an AEG Aerosoft gun. Now what is an AEG, you might ask? Well an AEG is an electric, automatic electric gun, it's just a, simply an acronym. Is an airsoft gun powered by a battery such as this? But how does it work internally? Well, I'm gonna show you. Now, what I have here is the internals and the engine of my Crytek Chris Vector, which did break a piston, unfortunately. But what it does allow us to do is to demonstrate how exactly it works. Now, as I said before, it's powered by a battery such as this. Power is distributed into what is this, which is called the engine. This actually powers everything, all right? So what this does, this in electric engine spins all these gears right here. This is what does all your work. And this is why it's important you have strong gears. Now, if you notice, this gear here only has teeth along one part of it. Now, what that does, I will show you. So when this spins, the teeth along this gear grab what's called a piston. And as it spins, it pushes the piston back, acting upon the spring, compressing it. And as it continues to rotate, pushing the piston back, it reaches a point here where the gears no longer contact the piston. And the piston is then able to slide freely inside the cylinder. At this point, the compressed spring pushes the entire unit back in, compressing air and building pressure. That compression is forced out through here, through the nozzle, and into your hop-up, which is fed by your magazine, through here. That pushes the BBs out your barrel. Now this spring, this gear continues spinning until it once again hits the piston, and this is the problem this one has, is the, pit, the rear tooth on the piston is broken. And the gear, and the cycle continues again. And this is how you become automatic. Overall, it's a very simple concept, and different AEGs will have different layouts within their engines. Not all are the same, but they all operate under this similar principle of operation. Doesn't get much easier than that, really. Uh, stay tuned here to see more. I do have replacement parts and an upgraded piston and piston head for the Vector. See, and uh, my chrono's on its way, so we'll see how it performs from where it was to what it is now. And uh, as always, stay tuned here for more. Thanks for watching. Play safe. Call your hits.